guys, welcome to Choose Your Own Path. So today, well, let's go back. Yesterday we did a live video on building um, sort of like a little ruins kind of thing for a Dungeon & Dragon kind of set. So we're going to continue doing that. Um, all we did was cut some styrofoam and uh, plug in our hot gun. We'll leave it out. We're just going to build the walls up. <clears throat> That's all we're doing is building our walls today. Uh, or ish. Oops, that went the wrong way. That's okay. So what we want to do is we're just trying to make a little scenario case of something going on here. We're not sure what. Um, just, just we're just trying something different here. So today's project is building, I guess, sort of like a, a modular set for. For us to just try what we're going to do is we're just going to build up walls these are like ruins and we're not worried about what it looks like right now because we're gonna paint it and we're gonna end up putting uh, some you know different things to it we just want to see if it can work if we can do this i mean right we say if i can do it you can do it that's what we're doing We're making a playable set. As I said, this playable set will be probably given to my nephew. He can bring it to his buddies at Dungeons and Dragons, see if they like it, and you know, maybe get involved in building sets for these guys. Something cool. We're not a hundred percent sure. So but we wanna have something out there that we can try so all we're doing is we're taking styrofoam like I said and we're building up walls to see what we can do using hot glue it's pretty solid as it is we'll have to take some of the kind of hairy bits that uh, kind of got stuck to it we used 136 pieces I counted them actually the other day uh, we're going to get a lot more out of this one, though. I had to cut a whole bunch more. And, yeah, we're just going to just keep on going craziness. Oh, Sharp Kitty's around here, too. All right, Sharp Kitty, what do you want? Make sure you have enough glue sticks to go. That's important. Oh, sorry, Sharp Kitty. Kind of scared her there. Just decide, like, just go round and round and build. That's all you really have to do. We're just trying to make it somewhat 3D-ish, I guess. All different sizes and shapes of form. Again, this build uh, is from uh, Black Magic Crafts or Creations. I can't remember. I, I gotta make sure I say the right things. It's basically what he does, but not as good. <laughs> so we're just gonna go with it. And it's hot. Just remember, guys, hot glue is hot. No matter what, be very careful. We started this project off yesterday with a live feed to see if what kind of interest we can get. We had a couple people on the feed. Nothing crazy. I mean, I wasn't expecting tons of people to be joining me but the ones who did we always thank them all right so like i said we're just it's almost like a we're doing this like cheap as cheap as we can just to see what we can do because well not because we're cheap it's just because we can <laughs> uh, all right Okay, so you see where I'm going, I'm going higher and higher. Uh, you'll get to a point where I have to maybe get some more bricks. Cut. That's That takes time. And you have to get styrofoam. This is just normal styrofoam. He recommends, and again Black Magic uh, recommends using uh, styrofoam that's from 
like the wall when you're doing when you're insulating your walls a cheap sheet of that will get you a lot of a lot of styrofoam i just got mine from work they were throwing it out so i asked if i could have it and they said sure take it no big deal there's different ways to do it like i'm not this is again this is my first first time and i'm not doing anything crazy like texturing or um, he shows to use um, uh, uh, what's it called uh, foil paper and foil paper would basically what it would do is it would help it so that you can make texturing patterns and all that which is pretty cool so now again you have to make sure you got a lot of um, hot glue as if you don't you're gonna be in trouble this is my last pack for today so hopefully we have enough to go all the way around to what we need hot glue i give you dollar store cheap right dollar store is very cheap hot for this stuff like uh, is it like three bucks or something like dollar fifty for a whole set of glue so we're gonna basically go about and keep on doing what we're doing. Selected piece, I'm not worried about sizes, um, you know, stuff like that. I'm, I'm not really concerned about it because to me, when I saw the build, I mean, once you get good like him, uh, the build becomes complicated. Uh, you want it to look really, really good. I guess you could say um, to me this is like these are ruins and uh, yeah they're just they're, they're made to it's made to look like an old dungeon kind of castle I'm not sure of the height yet if I did it properly that's why I said this is just a first for me and I'm happy with saying I'm okay with it So what you want to do is you want to cut a shit ton of, of styrofoam. That's number one rule. You want to cut as much as you can. Okay. Um, what we did was when we cut it, we kind of sanded it. You don't have to do that. With this stuff, it's really bumpy in that. So it didn't look that great. Still doesn't look that great. But again, we'll see what happens when we put paint on it. Okay. I'm going to just put in some different design-ish kind of things. Let's see what happens. Make it look like it's crumbling. It's been, you know, it's been fought. <laughs> it's been fought in. Um, you know, those kind of things. That's, that's the thing about crafting is it, it doesn't have to be perfect because, again, this isn't a store, right? This is all about crafts and what we can do so and with the hot glue what the nice thing about the hot glue is it 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 dries really fast so that's what we want a nice fast drying kind of a area um, we do need to put a floor in somehow but i think we're just gonna put all our tiles like this. Yoach, that is hot, guys. Jesus, I keep burning myself. So we're just randomly putting stuff everywhere. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Just trying to put things randomly everywhere and see what happens. Running out of bricks and running out of glue. That's okay. We'll just continue doing with what we got now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a couple of random pieces outside of it like so and then we're just gonna just hand cut everything here and burn our fingers again. Ayo. Just want to cut a bunch of couple more pieces. I'm gonna go 
inside of the port. All right. All right, guys. So this is where we're at with our, our build. We've got a floor in. Don't worry about the gaps. What we're going to actually do is we're going to get some sand. We're going to put some glue, PC glue in there. I'm going to put some sand. And the sand is basically going to fill up most, most of those gaps. So it doesn't really matter. Just want to make sure that we're happy with what we have. shut that off we're good okay so next thing we want to do is we want to try to build maybe an archway which is not entirely something I've ever done so what we're going to use is a piece of our styrofoam what we need to do is mark off what we're doing. Mark it off here. Mark it off here. Like so. Then all we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw ourselves an archway. Like so. And again, we're just doing this all freehand. No tools, no nothing. We're not worried about it. Take out our knife. Now it would be better if you had a hot cutting machine, but if you don't, like I don't, we're going to do it all by hand. That's what we have to do with, well, that's what we're going to have. Okay, so as simple as that. We want to add that here as like an entrance. It'll be fine. Let's plug in our hot glue again. And like I said, we're just going to play around with some of the bricks here. To make it look like we're, we're doing something. Sometimes you just want to leave a little bit of outside bricks. Them up. Good God, that's hot. Don't do that. settle it'll it will uh, push like it will settle good because what we're looking at doing afterwards is basically spraying it down and all that too all right let's unplug this let it cool down okay guys so yes i know it just looks white <laughs> and it looks like a bunch of styrofoam but it is what we have Trim out a couple of pieces just to sort of get that better look to it. Okay. Do whatever you want to these things. You could be 
random about it. You can make little designs, I guess, if you want. It's up to you. It's your crap. So I'm just going to clean it up and then we'll get on to coating it, okay? All right. All right, guys. So what we did was we took some gray. We're going to add some. We're just using acrylic crappy dollar store paint. I'm going to add some yellow. Yellow to it. Not sure the exact mixture, but we're going to do it. And we're going to add some white now this is pretty thick so we're just gonna add some of our homemade reducer I don't know if we have enough there dig our magical schmuck and we'll see what it looks like just looks great so let's add a little bit more of our yellow it's basically gonna lighten it up give it a kind of an old rustic looking kind of I think so just rust, rustic -y. all right let's turn a little bit of light on here like so Hopefully it's not chunky in there. Color store paint is chunky. That's all it is. All right, so we gotta get great base. We want this to look like rocks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get inside. Now again, probably best thing was to do is to paint this while it was um, <laughs> it was where I could reach it. But that's okay. Just gonna smear some paint everywhere. Just to get it in there. And a lot of this you won't see from a certain kind of angle because it's yeah I think that's the one thing I should have done was probably painted before I added the little details to it like the bridge and all that stuff but that's okay because I said this is just for fun so I'll try to get as much coverage as we can Hair, not hair, but it's the, the glue, the glue gun itself. Basically, I tried to clean as much as I can up, but it's pretty visible. See, we're getting rocky kind of a look. 
And this is going to take a little bit of time. It's as simple as that. We're basically... We're basically just kind of priming one color. It almost looks green. <laughs> I don't see it looks green. So, that's okay. We're just going to do a whole base coat on there. To see what it looks like. And we're hitting everything, everything, even the, the, the little stand it's sitting on, because we're going to repaint that brown, sort of like the, like a little wall or something. Almost like a deck. Inside first, then we'll do the outside last.
so it looks like it's right in there. stairs I guess not stairs but more of a platform for your characters to sit on <coughs> sorry it's simple as that just getting a little bit of paint on it changes the whole look of everything again I wish I could have got inside there better or before guys paint your stuff for you adding it that's my mistake but hey whatever I'm gonna try to make it look really good. All right. So we're gonna let that dry. No, most little chunks off. Um, next is we're gonna take some. Uh, we're gonna take our airbrush, and we're actually going to get a little bit of black going on. I think that's gonna look cool. So we'll have that set up, and uh, we'll go from there. Stay tuned.